have you not even ever read? Jesus wasn't talking about Hamlet. He wasn't talking about Herodotus's histories. He wasn't talking about the Iliad or the Odyssey. He wasn't talking about War and Peace. Some of those, of course, hadn't even been written. He is talking about the Bible, and he's talking to the Pharisees. Have you never read? Remember that in Luke chapter 4, Jesus launches his ministry with a message from a synagogue in Nazareth from Isaiah 61, 58, 61 and then 58, and then mentions Elijah and Elisha. He heals a leper, Peter's mother-in-law. He calls Peter or Simon to follow him from the fishing business. He then casts out some demons, preaches the kingdom of God. And then in chapter 6, he and the disciples are going through the grain fields. They're doing the gleaning that Leviticus allowed the needy. They're hungry. They don't have enough, but God is providing. The Pharisees are upset because they're doing it on the Sabbath. Remember I said this is one of six places where there's Sabbath controversies. And here's what Jesus says to the Pharisees. Have you never read? And he reminds them of an incident in the life of David. That's a striking thing. It's saying this. The problem the Pharisees had was not that they were legalistic. That's a kind of a subjective term. It wasn't they were traditionalists. Some traditions very good. It wasn't that they were so conservative. In fact, the uh, Essenes called them the speakers of smooth things and thought they were more liberal. The problem the Pharisees had was this. They didn't know their Bible well enough. They didn't know their Bible well enough. Jesus is in the grain fields and it's okay because the Bible teaches him it's okay. The Pharisees didn't know their Bible well enough. Do you? Your Bible has been sitting in your house for 40, 50, 60 years. Do you know it well enough? Do you know what's in the book of Jeremiah? Do you know what's in the book of Ezekiel? Do you know what's in the book of Amos? Let me suggest you take a deep dive into the scriptures. To me, that involves five things. One is you read. Two or three chapters a day from the Old Testament, one from the New, and you could read through the Bible in a year, and then start again, and if God gives you ten more years of life, you'll have done it ten times. You read. Here's a second. You memorize. You take a verse, two, three verses a week, and you memorize them. Start with verses in the Psalms, such as Psalm 1, Psalm 91. Here's third. You meditate. You ponder over what God is saying in these verses. You read, you memorize, you meditate. Here's four, you study. You come to Bible study, you come to church. You might find online a copy of Warren Wiersbe's great Bible commentary. It's, it's huge, it's 12 or a thousand pages, but you read two or three pages a day and work your way through the Bible. You read, you memorize, you meditate, you study, and then you live. You do the things the Bible says. Because like I say, when Jesus says to the Pharisees, have you never read? The problem is, it had been available to them their whole lives. And they didn't take a deep dive into it. Remember I said to know God, you have to know Jesus. To know Jesus, you have to know the Old Testament. There's a sense in which we only know the Lord as well as we know our scriptures. Because in the scriptures, we get to meet our Lord face to face. This is your daily devotional for Friday, April 14th. I hope you're well. Seek first the kingdom of God. Read your Bible and pray every day. Pray for the church. Pray for me. Pray for a deeper love for the word God has inspired the scriptures. And watch how you grow. Seek to bring people into the Lord's kingdom. And I look forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless you.